Let's not make a judgment until all the facts are in. Doing the game, it just seems so current and um, appropriate. Have you started processing the evidence from Tuto di Amici yet? You know, you get to jump into the skin of, of your favorite characters. And um, I think we all have a little actor in us. And it's kind of fun to sort of escape the real world and our real frustrations and problems and sort of do that. Let's say the owner decided to try to cover up what could have been perceived as a very embarrassing situation for his brand new restaurant. When I first started the show, I interviewed a bunch of different actual uh, detectives that do this for a living, and I sort of took pieces and parts from all of them to create Stella. I love Stella. I think she's just fabulously smart and um, aggressive, and at the same time, she doesn't see things as black and white. Sit back, Mr. Oswald. I'm not quite finished with you yet. And ever so gently get to the very edge and make her point, do what she's got to do, and step back. <laughs> I have to ask, how did you not notice a dead girl on your stage? I enjoy our writers so much because they continuously have an or open door policy. We can go in and, and um, delve into different subjects. It's possible the victim was shot or stabbed and then the body redressed. As much as I love solving the crimes and, and um, I, I personally, as a viewer, really enjoy watching characters grow in their relationships and going home with them. And if there's a way we can find more of that balance between mystery and who these people are, I think it's exciting for both our viewers and for us as actors. This is interesting. I started out doing voiceovers when I was in college and um, it was quite humorous. I did a lot of jingles. Um, where I would sing, and a lot of people don't know this about me, but I was a musical theater major, so I've been on Broadway, I sing a lot. In fact, Gary always laughs because around two o'clock in the morning, if we're still shooting, I get into like my giddy mode and start, you know, pretending that we're doing CSI the Musical, you know. <laughs> Found a fiber, here it is. Yes, I'm Detective Stella Bonacera from Crime Scene Lab, and this is Detective Don Flack. Since the inception of, of CSI, uh, there have been so many women applying to the forensic science field. And I mean, the numbers are just going up higher and higher. And that's thrilling. To have more women inspired by the science fields is extremely exciting for me.